All right, so we usually talk about real estate on this channel and all things real estate in Northern Virginia. So today I wanted to do episode three of coming to Northern Virginia because there's some great things coming to the area, some big change, some controversial things I want to tell you guys about and get your opinion. So let's get started. All right, so first of all, really just coming back into the news this week is the FBI headquarters, which was initially canceled by the Trump administration, is back on. And one of the places they're exploring is Springfield, Virginia, and Northern Virginia. It's like a $2.5 billion project and like 2.4 million square feet. They're gonna be moving the headquarters out of DC, but they're also exploring a few spots in Maryland. Obviously, I think this would be huge for Northern Virginia or even Maryland as well. Obviously, I'd prefer it to be in Virginia. And they have a couple field offices, like we have one here down the street in Manassas, but a FBI headquarters movement in Northern Virginia would just be even more huge for our jobs and marketplace here. So I wanna know what you guys think of that. One other cool thing that is coming to the area here in Haymarket where I live is the Haymarket Hotel is finally opening up at the end of the month of March. And I've been seeing like driving by and seeing some people in there doing like, they must be doing some testing and all that. And it's like a nice bar area with like nice updated rooms. And I was checking it because we're actually having a big wedding here in the spring. They're about $190 a night to stay there. And like lack of hotels in Northern Virginia, I think has been a huge issue. A lot of them are starting to get outdated. And when these huge hotels do come in like National Harbor and all that, they usually are in Maryland or in DC. Now this is not obviously not a sprawling hotel, but it's a nice hotel, brick, everything right in downtown Haymarket. So. Definitely something the area needed. Looking forward to that place opening up as another spot, night spot to check out in the area. Let me know if you guys think you'd be staying there. All right, so one of the more controversial things has got to be the Washington Commander Stadium. And as you know, the team has just had all kinds of things going on. Dan Snyder is not looking really good, even though he just bought the most expensive house in D.C., area history over in Alexandria. But the thing is, right, the, the state of Virginia has gone all in on this stadium. I don't really know why. I don't know if I agree with public funding paying for a stadium, especially for that team. And they're talking about either, either in Ashburn or Dumfries or Woodbridge in Eastern Prince William County, which to me, as you know, 95 is just a nightmare. So I'm not really sure how they think that's gonna make sense. The so one thing that I will say it is supposed to be like shopping, housing, dining, all kinds of things, which is great. And it most likely will be a dome type stadium, which other renderings they've had as well. So they can have events year round. But DC is pretty much said, you know, the only place they would allow it would be the RFK spot. And that's on federal land. And apparently that's getting complicated. I know the governor of Maryland just said, you know what? If you guys don't want to talk to us, and you're not interested, then see you later, which I kind of can't blame them for saying that. Like, Again, I don't know how I feel about this. Love football, but I don't know if taxpayers should pay $1.2 billion for Dan Snyder to get a stadium. But the rumor is he has said he wants to solely own the stadium like the Cowboys do with their stadium. So who knows? Comment below what you guys think about that. I definitely think it's going to be controversial either way. And apparently they've only got like a year to figure this thing out because they've got to be out of land over the next four to five years. So, you know, these stadiums take a long time to build. So let me know what you guys think. And then last but not least, Another controversial thing is just data centers galore. And like, why am I even talking about controversial things on this local channel? I don't know if I want to get blown up here by everybody, but over here in Prince William and in Loudoun, Loudoun has obviously fully embraced the data centers. I know one was just passed in Culpeper, very, barely passed. And then over in Maryland, they've shot down a bunch of them. But here in Prince William County, we have everything called the Rural Crescent, where there's only, you can only build a house on 10 acres no, because everything is so close to the battlefield where a bunch of homeowners and landowners got together and said, hey, we want to try to get all this rezoned. I know we're in the you know, rural crescent, but for a huge data center park and then a, people put together this huge contract. So, all right. So the upside to these data centers are obviously when they build them, there's no schools they have to build. There's no housing coming in, which brings in more traffic and all that. But then again, they are kind of an eyesore when you're driving down and all you see are these huge industrial buildings with like air conditioners on the top. So I guess people are saying, hey, look, you know what? When you leave the battlefield, the first thing you're going to see is these huge industrial buildings. So I totally get it from that side. But then also again, you know, brings a lot of jobs so to the area and they're you know high paying jobs so what do you guys think about that i don't know what's going to happen anytime something comes near the manassas battlefield it usually gets shot down and nothing ever happens but this one 
Looks like the county's changed a lot and there's gonna be a lot of changes coming down the way. I think it, the pre part of it got approved and there's still a lot more to go. So I wonder what you guys think. There's plenty of things coming around to the area. I'm looking forward to Jiffy Lube Live opening up with a ton of concerts this year as um, you know the pandemic is winding down, hopefully. So let me know what you guys think. If there's more stuff you wanna talk about coming to the area, I appreciate it. And if you have any real estate questions, definitely shoot me a text at the number below. We'll see you at the top or from the top.